Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. I'm Peter Moxling, Keeper Emeritus, and last time, uh, some stuff happened, actually. Uh, we got mag weapons, we got our first squad size upgrade, uh, we did a tunnels mission to rescue a VIP, which could have gone very badly, but instead just went kind of weirdly. Let's see. Can interrupt? No? Cool. One two, three, four, so we cannot actually field a full squad at the moment. But I'm assuming you're back immediately since you're tired for negative one days. Apply drop immediately. Officer Autopsy, a.k.a. Skullcheck, you're dead. picking up another transmission from some clown calling himself Van Dorn. Doesn't sound like the kind of recruit we're looking for. Reference to the previous game. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. That's like the second best you can get, I think. And given that we had alien or avatar progress three, and that's solid. In case you're wondering, 166 on the credits, uh, supplies, whatever. Our friends in the resistance have shared what they know of these so-called chosen the elders have sent after us. It sounds like we should expect these things to actively hunt us until we take them out. Time is not on your side. It won't be long before I find you, Commander. Okay, so resistance down and you're going to be gone for a month, okay? Black market black market closed for 6 weeks. I feel like that is terrible, but... Mm, and Hunt the Avenger, by all means. We have two weeks until retaliation. Uh... I guess that that's probably the act of dark events? I'm not totally sure at the moment. Okay, and then here's this. I like that we have this because later in the game that's going to get real useful. I thought about that in the episode where we got it, and I don't think it's actually super useful. Additional loot, black market down by 33. Let's go with additional loot because that's going to be more universally helpful. Black market down by about a third of total cost could be very helpful, and maybe I'll swap it in later. Oh, with only two possible slots, let's take extra loot. And then you for resistance contact. Let me try this actually. Can I just do this? Okay, so if we were at four and couldn't just like put this down here, uh, you there. Then we'd be able to just sw then, we'd be able to then we'd be able to just slide it across. You there? Okay. The skirmishers are yours. Cool. Thanks. Avenger plotting new course. Money here. Money there. That should be enough for like all of our tier two upgrades, I think. Intel noted. I'll try by one. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. We're going to Avatar, slow them down. No, we not. To move fast. Wait, is it? The aliens have just finished a new facility tied to the Avatar okay, project, facility. Commander. If we can make contact with resistance forces in the region, we could move on that facility and set back the aliens' work. Cool. And we get one because facility. Glimpse the power that awaits the elders, whether they re I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? 
Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. New objective added. Make the skull jack, make the proving ground, yep, okay. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Advent Officer Autopsy, codename Bishop. New facility, proving ground, new research, trooper autopsy, new research, stun lancer autopsy, new research, purifier autopsy. Oh, that's why we couldn't do those. Okay. Physically larger, if you say so, and more tactically capable, yeah sure, than the subordinate troopers, the Advent officers administer a system of control over the troopers through a carefully engineered psionic link augmented with a mechanical implant. From my initial examination of the commander and a careful review of the information gathered in the alien containment area, I now have a theory as to how this system was, was established. It is my firm belief that this process of psionic control was specifically engineered to allow rapid development of tactical information drawn directly from the support, drawn directly from the subconscious mind, in this case, the mind of our very own commander. With this hierarchy in place, tactical knowledge stored in the depths of the commander's mind was processed and transmitted to the Advent officers, who in turn directed the troopers and other subordinates. With the commander no longer attached to their psionic network, it's difficult to say how the orders are being dispersed at this point, although I'm sure the aliens have planned for this potential contingency. I believe it may be possible to tap into this network, but it would require the use of a living Advent officer to function as our conduit. To facilitate this difficult task, we've worked to develop a new device, the Skulljack, which should be capable of, of disabling an officer. From there, it's simply a matter of hacking the officer in the field, although I won't speculate as to the outcome. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack that Tygen came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. Gauss inspired hell yes. Okay, guess we're doing that. It's normally it was normally nine, wasn't it? So it's like a one third increase. I thought it was one half. Eh, maybe it was twelve. Just to check these. Eh, cool. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Covered. Avengers Supplies. New course. Check out other options really quickly. And also we have the monthly tick over, so we could go to the black market. Let's see. Investigate that. Soldier there. Actually, soldier's not bad. Intel and supplies. Focus supplies for now, so we have the money for everything we need. Now, squad site. Good job. Everything two or two we've sites. seen indicates the Chosen aren't going to stop hunting us, Commander. Our only option is to find them first. To do that, we'll need to work with the Resistance on a covert action in the ring. Cool. Work is well underway. Okay. So Commander. two is science, three is engineering, one is geoscape, four is barracks. Good. Okay, I guess. Do you auto promote to a ranger or uh, to a sharpshooter? Two, three, I guess. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we're on squaddies at least, but squaddy ain't that good. We have the infirmary, the infirmary staffed, so that's not a problem. We're on uh, half wound times. Yeah, getting both of you back would be real nice. So let's keep up the uh, speedy healing. You. Come on. When yes. inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Yes, you and the one other person I've gotten for you, I think. Gauss weapons, codename Friedrich. New weapon, mag cannon, Gauss rifle, Temnotic rifle. 
The fact that we now have access to Gauss weaponry that is both combat effective and safe to operate at these power levels is quite an achievement. The overall design relies on advanced miniaturization technologies developed by the aliens which are, frankly, well beyond anything conceived of by Earth's leading military development firms at the time of the invasion. Despite our limited, cap cap Despite our limited capability for extended test firings on board the ship, our latest prototypes are already capable of consistently accelerating an adaptive alloy projectile to over 5,000 meters per second in a simulated environment. We're still preparing the final assessment, but it is likely a field deployable unit would have to be limited to a lower power to a lower power threshold due to the potential for ongoing strain to our troops when operating the weapons. Sounds like we need a mech then. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm, rated inspired. That's nice. You know what? All of the autopsies eventually go instant, and Faceless is the only one that I'm really interested in. Like that's uh the nano med kit in the in the found or in the proving ground, I think. Uh something. <laughs> uh that's tier two swords. We can get away with the axe for the next while, I think. Uh, is that the stasis field? Or stasis shield item thing? Inspired down to 13? I... Wasn't it 13 already? Whatever, honestly, this is probably the next best anyway, so go ahead. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. We need to research Illyrium to unlock tier 3 weapons. Trooper might unlock Illyrium, or it might be Psionics unlocks Illyrium. One of the two, I think. To hear that, or we need to encounter plasma weapons first. Like, we need enough plasma pistols. I feel like that was an XCOM enemy unknown thing. Or enemy within, probably. One more day and find the Templars. Nice. Finally. We arrive upon the asylum of those depraved enough to defy the elders. Your friends would be wise to beg forgiveness with their final breaths. Dude, you're not that close. Like, you might manage to attack me because that's good for early game, but you're not even halfway there. These Chosen are constantly hunting us to try and recapture you, Commander, and are spreading terror throughout the Resistance as they go. We'll need to pay close attention to each one as they gain more information about our plans. Okay, plus one health for a squatty grenadier. Cohesion, whatever, XP for both, cool. Got a faction hero. I think that the faction Templar is still guaranteed, like it's uh, Schwartz. And also uh, is she. This is where the Templar faction maintains their headquarters. I'll admit they can be a bit extreme when it comes to psionics, but so far they seem loyal to our cause. We can scan at this location to gain additional support from their people. My people understand the value of our cooperation, Commander. The Elders see us as nothing more than raw materials for their designs. We will take back our power and turn it against them. Oh, Commander, it's about time we spoke, don't you think? I'm Geist, leader of the Templar Order, but I'm sure you already knew that. Stories of me tend to spread far and wide. You are welcome here any time, Commander, for among all others of your kind, you alone know the true power of the Elders. You have touched their minds, you have heard their voice, and surely you know that they must fall. On behalf of all Templars, I humbly offer our services towards their demise. Together, we shall be unstoppable. Cool, cool. I'm gonna not trust you. Vengeance, feedback, and covert actions, hunt the warlock, break your research, improve combat intelligence. We continue to progress in our campaign against the Elders, and now we gain new abilities as a result. Okay, so that's why we didn't have the Hunt the Chosen before for the uh, Skirmishers, because the Skirmishers hunt the uh, Hunter. As confusing as that is to say. Psionic attacks on XCOM units will cause damage to the caster. That seems 
very useful, actually. When a squadmate dies, the entire squad receives random bonuses for two turns. Hell no! Okay, we can hunt the assassin part two. Oh, no, we can't, because that... Recruit Reapers, operation unavailable, requires higher influence. Oh, okay. Loot. Income. What is the loot? Alien loot. Eh. Income. Get a new order. All mission timers are increased by two. I'll be honest, that could be useful. Like, I'm scared of timers in this game at the moment. 41 intel. Hunt the Warlock Part 1. I do like. Breakthrough research. Proving ground construction. Reduce construction time by 50%. All, I'm not going to lie, that's solid. Okay, so this is either increase the influence due to the part one of the hunt, or 50% uh, decrease construction time on the proving ground. Aim plus two, required scientist. We can negate the wound. Sergeant, will plus three. What, what rank is... Your corporal, not sergeants, we got. Is Will useful for Templars, actually? I'm not sure. <laughs> like, to this day, I have no idea how the Templars actually work for a Will. Psionic units are the only ones I know use Will. Uh, let's go ahead and just do the Hunt the Warlock, because if we really want to speed up the Proving Ground, we can scan at the uh, Skirmisher base. Or, is Skirmisher's build faster? Yeah, yeah, it is. So you require sergeant. One of each. You're back in two, so let's play you. Required soldier. Optional soldier negate ambush. Your thing. There. And there. That way, wound is the only possible risk. You get plus three will, whatever that's worth. And we start getting info on the warlock. Seven days. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. Okay, and we have a Corporal Level Templar. So that's uh, the one after Squatty? Yeah, looks like. Commander, each of our soldiers is rated based on their understanding of our tactics and capabilities. Something we refer to as combat intelligence. Because of their unique experiences in the field, our faction soldiers from the Resistance will gain access to new abilities based on this combat intelligence. So clearly I was I was wrong about it being Schwartz and gifted level intelligence. Ooh, that's the top. That's really good. You've done a hell of a job keeping this ship together, Doctor. It's all we've got. And I know the aliens aren't happy about losing one of their own. I doubt they thought anyone could get this heap airborne again. I'm more than happy to prove them wrong. Okay. So... Harry, very good. Volt, or Aftershock. I don't use Volt quite enough to really make that worth. Amplify, Psionic Lens, didn't take it before, always been interested. Shadow Step, extremely good. Like, honestly. Shadow Step over Parry, maybe? Oh, you, you have all of your squaddy abilities by default. Okay. I was trying to figure out what you are going to do for this if you only have 11, but okay. I'm going to take Shadow Step for now. Uh, honestly, taking Parry right now is... That feels like it's probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take both. Don't have a lot of spare AP now, but both those are just core to a Templar functioning well. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We're mostly on corporal, corp, corporal or above with one squatty. That's okay. And two days, well, actually one day before we get another corporal back, back two days before we get un, uh, pretty much the rest of our trained up units back. And two days on our constructions. And on this. There it is. <laughs> Figured the game wasn't going to let us just get two more days off. Okay, what do we got? Moderate. Get a scientist, hit an event, and a sit rep shadow squad, all, sh all soldiers on the mission gain conceal. Versus easy, supplies, uh, get rid of the UFO. Undercover civilians present in this combat zone will, can, be, can, can be contacted to gain valuable rewards. I think this one. 
because another scientist to speed up research. We counter the hidden event, which is obviously the one we don't know. The hunt the UFO, I'm still totally fine to let that happen. Getting rid of the black market one would be nice, but maybe not critical. Six weeks is a while, though. So let's do this. Setting course for South Africa. And Prado Mox is back. Okay, at least we got you. So we can get a full squad of Corporal or above. Commander, it looks like conditions on the ground are ripe for a quiet operation. If we can get our people into place, they should each have concealed positions to work with. Good, because Dragonova's still out. Why am I doing that? I know who I'm taking. There. Uh, build items. Okay, we got 169 to work with. Yes. 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 Maybe. Nah. Should. Okay, alloys. I <laughs> have 38 alloys. 100 supplies would mean we can get only that, pretty much. Uh, that and that, basically. 50, 40, 100, 100. Okay, there's no way to get uh, both of these and one of these, because these are both 100. With 100, that leaves us with 69, so we can get either of these. Dragonova's out at the moment, so let's not get the Tomnotic. In which case, Shard Gun and either Mag Cannon or Gauss Rifle. I prefer Gauss Rifle. I just like snipers. Shard, yes. Good. There goes our money. And you auto-upgrade. Good. We do, not have an, we do not have an explicit ranger on this mission. Okay. Frost. Med. Let's give you the flashbang. Okay, you're on conventional. You're on tier one sword equivalent. Mag, mag, conventional. For upgrades. Now have two slots. Basic scope for extra aim. I don't really want stock, and honestly, the extra crit I don't love. We have expanded mag. Let's give you the advanced laser sight for the extra... You know what? No, no. Let's hold off on the laser sight. Let's put that on, when, uh, on whenever we take our first ranger out, so we can put it on the tier 2 shotgun for the extra 10 crit. Stock? Sure. Stock is okay there. Real basic upgrades, but it helps out a little. Any other items? No... Okay, up. Uh, you, you. Let's get Shadow Keeper. You know what? I think Powered Shadow Keeper gives inherent aim. I don't think the normal Shadow Keeper does. Oh, yep, it gives plus 10 aim. You can see it over there on the side. Sure, plus 10 aim just for having that gun. So your aim is now 97. Just saw that your combat intelligence, intelligence is standard. Not amazing, but eh, whatever. Okay, that's probably about all we can do. You are our sergeant, so you should have medical protocol. Uh, soldier abilities. I got revival to counter the chosen, right? And you do have medical. Next one is scanning. Okay, I think that's about it. So let's go. Pretty sure I couldn't. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I have a captain yet, so I don't think I can get the yeah, squad size two. Sky Ranger, deep squad green to. The resistance operative managed to rig up some sort of data interception device through an access point on the Advent network running through here. The data is apparently critical to the aliens' latest operation. And they're already moving to destroy the device. We're heading in to make sure that doesn't happen. Take out any hostile targets nearby, secure the AO, and protect that device. Okay, so this is the protect the device, not the de not destroy the device. Got it. In the tunnels under Bloemfontein. I'm more exploring Fontaine. <laughs> anyway, Operation Frozen King. Let's go. Boop, boop. forces are already moving to destroy the data tap installed nearby. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. As Templar warriors, my followers specialize in wielding psionic energy, mastering the power that belongs to all who are truly of this earth. 
Through intense focus, we can twist the very fabric of the world around us to suit our needs. Good for you. Focus. It's focus. I'm not reading that. <laughs> okay, so we don't have a Reaper, so we don't have Shadow. Do have Mox, though. Okay, so we need to protect this, which means the enemies are going to be moving toward that. Here for double fall. Okay, didn't see shit, so just move up. On the move. That'd be a good place to stop if there are enemies ahead. Uh, what's the actual thing? The train. The tunnel. Wait, is that just a door, not a train? Just a door. Okay. Yeah, sniper is gonna have to move, but uh, eh. from here it's not terrible. You can kind of, kind of see through. Bit of a limited angle, but it works. Hopefully. You to there because we haven't seen anything yet. There. Stepping off. And there. On the move. Hi. Super Trooper Mech. That's your full blue, so let's put you there for a moment. Then to there. Uh, let's put you here because I want the sniper over here, I think. Still nothing. So put you there. Let's do this. Up here might be a little bit better. Uh, up here to go across is probably the actual uh, good spot. Because that's elevation and good and good vision inside. That's going to take a little bit of doing, though. Half cover there. Far, but I can reach oh, I see something. Our oppressors patrol near here. Go ahead and fill in there. Got it. And there. Okay, guess you're going towards the uh, thing. I'm full moving every turn. I literally cannot do this any faster. Here seems like the best. Uh, it'd be great if I could go one more square, because like this or this is where I would really like to be. Because that would give us good cover and vision. This at least gets us the vision. Uh, hopefully that is full cover, admittedly. Stepping off. If we see nothing, then so be it. We can move the next turn. I got enemy moving here. Cool. Now we can see how far they can see us from. Okay. Could go as far as here. Realistically, tuck you in here, probably. Let's check everyone else first, though. Well, you hear so that you can move up. Hopefully. You have flashbang. Robot's going to be immune to that, though. And the other pod also has a robot. I run. Put you there for the elevation. I can't switch off of you, so you do see the other pod? Yes, you do. Spotted. We spotted. How? Uh, I might revert that. Kind of depends on what happens here. Yeah, that's a bit. Can only attack that. Sure. Action to the sniper to get you into full cover, probably. A shot with the pistol is not going to be helpful here. So just Good get to copy. full. Moving on target. I comply. Could try for that, but realistically, just go ahead and conceal. Yes. 
as you order. I can aid protocol if I only blue move, which means not moving at all at this point. Okay, so it's basically which of these three. They're all in full cover. Let's go with Mox because you don't have the elevation bonus. Mind control. Stuck. Kill. Kill. Kill them all. We've been disguised. Basically, if anyone dies, I'm going to go ahead and revert. That's kind of the plan here. Overwatch. And they aren't shooting at that thing much anymore. At least there's that. The Elder's puppets come. Okay, this is basically the entire map right here, because there are three pods. And uh, not amazing, but good enough. Cool, great. Of course, you're still alive. As we focus our energy, our power increases and can be unleashed upon our enemies. So I just need a single flicker that has the sectoid. I don't think it was in there, but just there. That'll release the mind control. Flashbang is not going to work against you. Let's go here for good cover against them in elevation. Tactical movement. Can we get the shred? Probably not. Not seeing anything there. Can't hit both of them. Obviously don't have cereal. Shadowfall guaranteed damage plus conceal because it gets the kill. Okay, try to take out one mech then. Do I have anyone else? Just you two. Okay. Go for you. Deflection. That's not a lot of damage. Okay, so three and three would be two damage total. We basically need we basically need two high rolls in a row to get the kill. You're concealed, you're not. You're not, but you have full cover. Okay, we can't get the kill anymore. Let's go ahead and conceal that. Because you're going after the specialist by looks of it. Oh, no, you. Okay. There's heavy fire in this zone. Do they not have micro missiles? They've seen me. Okay, okay, sure. They do. Okay. Oh, okay. Welcome back. Oh, it's got plenty of health. I did not need to rush that much. Okay, we're reverting two or three turns here. Help! Help! Someone help! Honestly, that was probably your best move. Yeah, mechs are real difficult for us to deal with right now.
Like, part of me actually wants to try to, to uh, push this forward, but... Yeah, let's be real here. Let's just go back. I didn't actually check. Please don't be the start of the mission. Good, good. That works. Okay, so... I was able to get the sniper up to here. It was putting the heavy here. The grenadier here is what got the spotted flanked, which I'm very confused by, but eh, whatever, sure. Let's put you here. Go quickly. Because the sectoid is over on this side, and that was a really nice thing we were able to do by getting the, uh, the uh, kill on it. Let's put you here this time. One square back, a little bit safer. Enemy squad located. Yep. Okay, so let's put you like here. Affirmative. That looked bad. Oh, it's literally that square, you assholes. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, full cover there for now. I could put you up top, but I'd getting kind of crowded up there. There, because we're going to engage next turn. Good copy objective on site over here. Yeah, that's a bad assortment of enemies. Hi. We've been spotted. Why did you run forward like that? Uh, hi. Sectoid. Stop on my rage. Good, got the kill that time. The spirits awake their turn at this. Harry. Really, I want to take out the mechs. Dead Eye is 80. I think it's worth it because it has the chance of the full kill. I think that's death. Target down. Yep. Rumbling Heal self would be great if I can afford it. 76. 56. You're the only two. Go ahead. You are giant. Good. We take from the elder stock. That hits both of you. Uh, you have the thing where you can grenade and then still action, I think. It is blinding. Nope. Okay. Okay, you don't have your double shot yet, so let's just go down here Absolutely. so we have the flank and the shred from being, you know, a grenadier. 88, go ahead. They hit the plate. Extra action isn't going to help here, I think. You're not disoriented. Put you On here so you have full cover and go for this five to seven guaranteed kill on 91 percent okay x-ray neutralized please attack you Thank you very much disoriented disoriented not disoriented you're the only kind of dangerous one good good Whew, good miss that was close A little bit early to celebrate, but I think that's pretty well solved now. Because we got two troopers, a sectoid, and a mech, we can handle that. Start by healing yourself. 
Go medical. Five, four. Okay. Try to simplify. Good. Target neutralized. Over here. On my way. I guess he can't like that. Can't hit both. Go for the shred. Good. Went off the armor. I'm running low on ammo. Up to here. Get the elevation and the different view. Sectoid worries me more than Trooper. Especially because of this. We can parry. Maximum focus until we get level 3. Try for this, see what happens. Uh... don't have the damage to get through that, I'm pretty sure. Okay. The mech's options are to go after you and you'll parry. To go forward and realistically shoot at the medic. I don't think it can really see us until it comes through here. I think this is about as safe as our options get. Yeah, single action right now, not worth. Darn. Enemy is still up. Let's go for a single shot. How much health do you have? Four. So we need to hit and we need to max roll. Let's conceal for now so that the enemy doesn't know we're here with Does that really make a difference? I really don't think it does. Just shoot. Still alive by one health. Okay. Ammunition nearly gone. Now you can do stuff again. Oh, in from the sides. I. All right, you. This looks a little ugly. Our enemy is flanking. That's fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. That, that's perfect. You. Strike for my people. Where are your saviors now? The strength of the Templars ebbs and flows with the tide of combat. As we focus our energy, our power increases and can be unleashed upon our enemies. Why am I getting that now and not last time? Go ahead. And kill. Okay, so all hostels are down and the area is secure. Grenadier and specialists are going to be out for a while because, oh, they both took some bad hits. But we effectively had three concurrent pods just so close to each other that we couldn't do much about it. I considered reverting a second time and going through the uh, door that's right here so we could only get vision right along this line and try to get only this pod. It didn't go so poorly that it needed a second revision, though, so I decided to not try that theory. That was my next idea if going through this didn't work, though. If neither of those worked, then for one, I might have just taken more, more uh, injuries and accepted it. But I also could have kind of backed off for a turn or two and let the uh, device take more damage. And then try to re-engage after we're at, like, a better angle from over here, maybe. Or just let the pod spread out a bit more. We must never allow these dissidents to fill our hearts with fear. Their victory today is a minor footnote in history. A small bump on the path of salvation the elders have set forth for us. Okay, what are we looking at? Three weeks? We, we do have the half uh, time because we have the infirmary staff, so maybe like 13 days? To end Elders false vision. Close. That is the purpose of all skirmishers. Until it is done, there can be no other path for us. Okay, promote Mox. Corporal to Sergeant. Wrath. 
grapple to pull yourself to an enemy. If you had the Templar parry, I'd be much more okay with that. I am always terrified to use this ability, though. Zero in. Subsequent shots give plus 10 crit. If against the same targets, plus 10 hit. So plus 10 aim, basically. You can shoot the bull pup twice in one turn, in case you don't remember. Lightning reflexes. Each turn, first reaction against you misses. I'm gonna try for this first. I'll probably go back and get this later, though. Wrath, I probably should get, but I am scared of it. And then our main uh, medic is out for almost two weeks, and you get scanning protocol, or field medic. Scanning protocol for now, because we have the assassin. I would never take scanning protocol until War of the Chosen. Like, it is so rarely useful, and then the assassin makes it damn near required sometimes. One stock, one laser sight, two sectoids, three advent mechs, and three troopers. Advent mech breakdown. These mechanized units have a familiar humanoid form, but we haven't found any indication of a pilot or biological control system. I'm hoping that once we've pulled it apart, I'll be able to mirror some of their advancements in our own weapons and robotic systems. Hello, Commander. Alright, we were doing a thing. Also, our, we countered Advent World Trek Points, which I think is the one that is guaranteed reinforcements on missions, I think. Got a scientist. Research time decreased by 20%. Cool. Soldier bond available. Another couple of wounds. Just barely hanging on, keeping it viable. Really hoping we can accelerate beyond what the game throws at us. One day left on these. Medical, or... Infirmary is staffed. With all that's been going on, we've never really had time to consider the possibility, but I have to believe Valen is still out there somewhere. She wasn't the type to let the collapse of XCOM stop her research. Good. Anyway, that's it for the mission, though, and thus the episode. So, if this video hasn't ruined your life, then go ahead and do all that YouTube stuff for a million times. I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your day, and I hope to see you in the next one, where we will continue trying to not die. Now that our medic is gone for probably the next two to three missions. Oh, God. At least we'll have, at least we'll have Avenger stuff to do. See you in the next one. Bye.